Hi friends, welcome to today's math video. Uh, we're gonna do just something of just a little bit different today. We're going to play a game, a game with dice. If you'd like to play, you need a dice, okay? Or a die. You need a 10 frame. You can, I made my own 10 frame. Uh, it just, it's five squares at the top, one, two, three, four, five, and five squares at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. That makes 10 friends and you need 20 counters. I'm using pennies because they're small enough to you fit in my 10 frames. They look like this. You can use pieces of bits of paper. You can use buttons, uh, dimes, nickels, quarters, whatever you have around the house that you can get 20 up. You need to count to 20, friends, okay? Okay, so to play the dice game, this is what you need. Uh, you need a die. A die is uh, what one dice is. Two dice, one die, okay? You just need one, one die. Uh, you need 20 counters. I'm using pennies. And you need a 10 frame for each player. So if you have more than one player, more than two players, um, make a 10 frame for each of them. Again, I drew mine out on a piece of paper, okay? If you don't have anything to write with or make a 10 frame with, or you just don't feel like it, friends, uh, you can use five groups to play, okay? We'll talk about that probably at the end of the video. All right, this is how you play. Let's pretend we have two players, a girl and a boy, okay? The first player is gonna roll the dice. Roll the dice, see? Roll it and drop it. And she rolled a five. So she counted five pennies onto her 10 frame. Now the object of this game is to make 10, okay? And you have to make 10 exactly. You can't go over 10, you can't go under 10. It has to be 10 exactly. So did she win? She did not win. She has to keep playing, okay? All right, her turn's done once she rolled the dice and counted it on her 10 frame. Now it's the boy's turn. He rolled the dice, and he rolled a three. So he counted three on his 10 frame. Did he win? Nope, three is not 10. Did the girl win? No, she hasn't made 10 yet. She might have more than the boy but she hasn't made 10 exactly, okay? So they're gonna keep playing. Um, the girl's turn again, she rolls the dice. This time she got a six. Can six fit on her, on her 10 frame? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, she only has space for five and six is more than five. So she cannot add six onto her five frame, her or on to her ten frame. Her turn is done. But in the future turns, she needs something five or less to continue playing. Okay, so she needs five or four or three or two or one to add more pennies to her ten frame. Okay, the boy rolled and he rolled a four. Can he? Does he have space to add four onto his ten frame? Sure does. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces on his 10 frame. He has room for four more. And that's what his 10 frame looked like. Who won, friends? Sorry, friends, nobody has won. Uh, the girl needs five more to win, and the boy only needs three more to win. So they're going to have to keep playing, and hopefully they roll enough to add more to their 10 frames to win the game. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to play in just a minute. All right, friends, my stuffies are gonna help us uh, see how the game is played, okay? So I have Moose here, I have Goofy here. They both have a 10 frame. They have some, some counters to share. And uh, I'm gonna let Goofy go first because Moose has been in a lot of videos. Sorry for the bounciness, friends. I'm shooting this on my cell phone. You ready? So I'm gonna roll, go ahead and roll for Goofy because his arms don't work. And he rolled a four. Okay, so he's gonna count four onto his 10 frame. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, he didn't make 10 exactly, so now it's Moose's turn. 
Remember, the first one to make 10 exactly wins. Moose's arms don't work either, so I'm going to have to roll for Moose. So here we go. And Moose rolled a 1. So he is going to put 1 on his 10 frame. 1. He doesn't have 10 yet, so we have to keep playing. Ready? Now it's Goofy's turn. Let's roll for Goofy. And he rolled a two. Does he have space for two? He sure does. Let's add two more. One. Two. All right, friends. How many more does he need to make 10? I see four spaces left. So if he rolls a four or less, he can continue playing. But if he rolls over four, then he lost his turn. You ready? It's Moose's turn. How many more does Moose need to make 10? Well, one less than 10 is nine, and he has nine spaces. So uh, he needs to roll a nine, which, is on, which isn't on the dice. So he's gonna have to add more to his 10 frame. And he rolled another one. So let's add another one. How many more does, how many does he have now? Two, one and one make two friends. All right, it's Goofy's turn. And he rolled a one. So let's add one to six. What's one? What's six and one more, friends? Seven. Goofy needs how many more in order to make ten? I see three empty spaces. All right, it's Moose's turn. Uh, Moose rolled a six. Does he have six spaces? Let's check and see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight is more than six, so he has definitely has six spaces left. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, how many more does Moose need to make ten? He needs two. He just needs two more. If he rolls more than two, he hasn't won yet. He lost his turn. All right, you ready? So it's three to two. Here we go. Goofy rolled a one. So let's add one more to his 10 frame. Now he needs two. It's tied, friends. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Moose rolled a four. Does he have room for four on his 10 frame? Nope, he just has two spaces. He lost his turn. It's Goofy's turn again. He rolled a four. Oh no, Goofy. You do not have four spaces. It's Moose's turn. Roll it up really good. Three. Oh, so close, but not yet. One. Oh. Goofy, you like that number one, and you have one space. You just need to roll a one again, and you won. All right, it's Moose's turn. Three. Ugh, he cannot add three to his ten frame. All right, Goofy. Let's roll a one. Two. That's what Moose needs. But sorry, you don't have space for two on yours. It's Moose's turn. Three. Oh my goodness. Five. Nope. Five. Nope. <laughs> Four. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Four. Eight and four do not make ten. Five. Nine and five do not make ten. Moose. Go. One. Oh, now it's just one and one. Goofy, go. One. Oh, he's got it. Nine and one makes ten. Goofy won. He filled his ten frame. Good job, Goofy. All right. So now you can clear it off and you can play again. And that is how a game might look. 
Okay, uh, real quick, Goofy and Moose are going to show you how to play without um, 10 frames. And it requires you to know what five groups are, friends. Uh, numbers that are more than five can start with a row of five, and then you count on to make that number, okay? Hopefully you will see it as we get started. I'm going to play it upside down so you can see what the five groups look like. You ready? Uh, so... Goofy won the last game, so we're going to let Moose go first. You ready? Go ahead, Moose. And he rolled a four. So we're going to count out a row of four. One, two, three, four. All right, so Moose has a row of four started. Now it's Goofy's turn. And he rolled a three. So we're going to go ahead and roll out, count out three for Goofy. Neither have a row of five yet, so we don't have to worry about the five group until this turn. You ready? So Moose is going to roll, and he rolled a one. Now he has a row of five, then his next turn, he's going to have to make another row of five to win. You'll need two rows of five exactly in order to win if you're playing without a ten frame. You ready? Goofy's going to go. And he rolled a five. Uh, so we're going to continue his row of three as we count five more. So one, two, that's five, three, four, five. How many does Goofy have? He has eight friends. And I said I was going to do this upside down, didn't I? Oh my goodness. There we go. I turned it around so you can see. So he has five, six, seven, eight. So we had three, we added five more, and that makes eight. He needs two more friends to win the game, to have two rows of five, which is ten. All right, now it's Moose's turn. Let's roll. He rolled a five. So let's count out five under his row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And since he has two rows of five, he won the game um, five and five is ten. Good job, Moose. But let's pretend that uh, Goofy has one more turn, okay? Even though Moose won. We're going to pretend Goofy has one more turn so you can kind of see what that might look like. So he had one. Now he has nine. He needs one more left. Oh, he rolled a five. Does he have space for five? No. So he has to wait until he rolls another one, okay? So you'd have to roll and roll and roll until he gets one on his turn. I'm just pretending that it was Goofy's turn. All right. So that's how you play without um, number or ten frames. Hi, friends. That's all for me this week. Uh, have a great weekend. Play this dice game with somebody that you uh, can, that you love. So play with your mom, play with your dad, play with your little brother, big sister. Anybody you can get to play with your stuffed animals just like I did. Um, make sure that every player has a 10 frame. So you're going to have to draw out some 10 frames. Or if you want to play with the five groups, uh, make sure that you have two rows of five. Okay, friends? Um, and that is it for me. I will see you on Monday with a new math video. Have a great weekend, friends.